Hey guys, this is Janelle with Janelle Elise Events, and in this video, we're going to talk to Cheryl of Sweet Seats, and she's going to give you everything you need to know about renting stylish seating for your next event. Sweet Seats is the spot for stylish seating to sweeten your next special occasion. Located in the metropolitan Atlanta area, Sweet Seats strives to offer you chic rental seating options that add elegance and function to any milestone you're celebrating. Hey Cheryl. Hey Janelle. I'm so excited you're on my show. I'm excited to be here. So before we get into talking about Sweet Seats, just give me a couple of things that people would be surprised to know about you. One thing that you don't know about me is that I wanted to be a professional race car driver. Oh my gosh! <laughs> when I was younger, um, but my mom would not allow that. Okay. So I went to college, I have a master's in public administration. <laughs> And I'm actually a certified professional resume writer as well. Oh, wow. Yes. So I've worked a lot in nonprofit, state and local government um, before I transitioned full time into the wedding and event industry. Okay. Um, something else that people might not know about me is that I love tattoos, and so I have a few of them. Do you? <laughs> have to show me later. <laughs> I will. And it runs in our family. My mom got her first tattoo when she was 70 years old. My brother has several tattoos. My son has tattoos. Really? Yes. 70 years old. 70 years That's old. Funny. She got a butterfly on her forearm. Oh. Yes, yes. So we like to live a little bit on the edge. Yeah. And so we like things that are cool and funky and edgy. Right. I love to travel. Ironically, the, the places that I've been out of the country all start with a B. I've been to the Bahamas. I've been to <laughs> Brazil. And I've been to Barbados. Okay. And so, of course, I want to travel more. But those are just a few little tidbits about me. So, Cheryl, tell me why you started Sweet Seats. I started Sweet Seats really out of my love for celebrations. I've always enjoyed being involved in events and once the opportunity presented itself, I felt like now's the time to jump into the Atlanta market, the wedding and event market, and develop a company that could offer personalized service that focused just on stylish seating. And so we just celebrated our third anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. And so we're really excited about what, what's on the horizon. Why should somebody consider renting alternative seating, so shibari chairs or kids shibari chairs, mm -hmm. folding chairs? Chairs can make your event pop. Right. It can totally take your event from one level to the next. Whether it's a kid's party that has a princess theme and you might want pink and white kid shivari yeah. chairs yeah. to really tie the theme together, or if you're having an uber sophisticated wedding and you want ghost chairs for a really modern glam look, yes. then totally consider adding those stylish seats to your event. Right. Shivari chairs add that timeless element of elegance and they come in a number of colors and they add that extra feel of class and, right. and sophistication to any event. So they're a perfect addition for your next occasion. And I feel like it just opens up the room. Truly. Compared to other banquet chairs. So. They really do. Yeah. And one thing that people may not remember is how you want your guests to be comfortable. And so with the Shivari chairs, you can accommodate a number of guests at one table, where the banquet chairs may be a little bit more restrictive when it comes to how many guests you can accommodate at a table. So you might be able to fit 10 to 11 people, maybe even 12 with Shivari chairs. And right. so you're able to have a lot more interaction at those tables where you have more people seated. Say I'm getting Mary, mm -hmm. what are like the first steps that I should take when I call you and I want to rent chairs from you? The first step you should take before you call me is to find out if the venue will even allow you to bring chairs from right. an outside right. vendor and then to inquire about whether they have staff that will remove their chairs before we come in because we've had occasions where we've arrived on the scene and the venue chairs are already in place. So right. we've then had to start Remove. removing their chairs mm -hmm. so that we can bring our chairs in and that's something that you don't want to have to experience. Um, and then once you call me, we can talk a little bit about the venue, the decor that's already in there, some of your colors, how many guests you're looking to accommodate, and then that way we can really sit down and think about the color shivari chair, what kind of decal you might want on your ghost chair, right. if you're using outdoor chairs or having an outdoor event, which chairs might be more suitable for that situation, and then we can talk about customizing a quote for you as well. Right. So should I bring inspiration photos? Should I kind of have an idea of the floor plan before I come meet with you, or was it more of like a collaborative effort? It is a little bit of both. There are some clients that know exactly what they want, right. and so they will bring those pictures, and we will do our very best to accommodate the style that they're looking to set up for their event. We had a bride last year that wanted her ceremony set up in an arc, 
and it was beautiful on the yeah. pictures. And when we arrived on scene, I don't know if she'd been very realistic about the terrain that we were going to be experiencing and the ant hills and mosquitoes oh that went along with that. No. <laughs> so it was a little bit challenging, but she was very satisfied yeah. with what we were able to develop for her. Yeah. So we do work hand in hand with the client, with their planner, with the venue, with the weather, with right. the terrain, <laughs> to make sure that you get what you'd like. Okay. Yeah. What's your number one tip that you want to tell people that are looking to rent stylish seating for their events? My number one tip would have to be make sure you understand everything that is in the quote that a company is providing to you. Not all times do you see where it's itemized and you understand that your delivery includes your setup and your breakdown and your pickup. Right. You don't want to get to your venue and your chairs have been delivered, but they've been delivered to the loading dock or to the elevator. Right. And then you've got to find people to set up your chairs for you. So that would be my number one inside tip to just absolutely make sure that you understand what your quote includes. Right. Right. Yes. I've got a tip. How about I've noticed in previous weddings we'll order seating and um, there's no seating for the ceremony musicians. Or mm. if you got a string quartet that's mm -hmm. not really included. So make sure that you include seating for your ceremony musicians because you want everything to look the same. So order more than you need. Basically. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And we've even had some clients to order additional chairs for their cocktail hours right. so that you have um, a little setting for people who might be elderly or people who are wearing seven inch heels. Right. They need a place to park their you know, their feet for a little while right. until you shift into your reception. Okay. So I would definitely encourage them to, to order more seats. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about trends. Yes. What are you seeing out there? What's hot right now? Oh my goodness, there's so much that you can do with chairs and what's hot is a variety of looks. Yeah. That's what I love so much about this industry. <laughs> you know, everything from country chic to right. contemporary glam, you know, to over the top kids parties to just, you know, simple elegance. And so a lot of what we're seeing includes people using a combination of chairs. So you might use ghost chairs that have been personalized with your monogram or with your name and they combine those maybe with clear shivari chairs. Mm. So you might have your ghost chairs at your state table, which would yeah. be an, an elongated table or square tables. And then you'd have maybe clear shivari chairs at your rounds for your guests. And so we're seeing a lot of that. We're seeing a combination of the ghost chairs with farm tables in outdoor settings. Yes, so a very um, non-traditional combination that brings in a lot of the outdoor country kind of elements, right. but also includes, you know, a bit of glam with the ghost chairs. And we've been seeing a lot more personalization. Clients wanting to really feel like it's their wedding, it's their event, it's their kid's party. Whether it's personalized signs, whether it's customized like bride and groom, bride and groom yeah. Mr. and Mrs. We've seen a lot of chair jackets that have been customized to match the bride's gown. Mm. So there are just so many, you know, different trends that are out there that we just love being a part of. Yeah. So, and they can come to you and you guys can brainstorm and, and absolutely make theirs. Absolutely. And we work with a number of very professional vendors throughout the city. So if it's something that they're looking for that we don't have, we can always refer them to somebody else. So we work in collaboration with other vendors to provide them those extra elements that they want to add to their event. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Cheryl, for being on my show. I really, really appreciate it. I had so much fun. Thanks for having me. No problem. And you guys, if you want to know more information about renting chairs for your next event, make sure you visit the Sweet Seats website. And also, uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, happy planning. Oh, so they were standing on the chairs doing the hot dog dance. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Cheryl, for being on my show. I really appreciate it. I had so much fun. Thank you for having me. All right. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> was that weird with that the hands? So don't do the hands. Okay, no hands. No, 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 no